following video may contain sexual references, in-game violence, and swearing. If you love playing GTA 5, GTA Online, and don't care about anything mentioned above, please subscribe and click the like button below. Enjoy. And welcome to Season 1 of The Hills of Los Santos. Hold on, hold on, explain something to me first. What the hell is going on with all these cameras? Dad, I wanted to do this off camera, but my new manager told me to record everything to show my soon to be millions of fans my way to fame. So this manager of yours told you that he's gonna make you big in Los Santos? And how the hell is he gonna do that, Pumpkin? I'm not sure, Dad. All I know is that in my audition tape he sent to some film producers, it was of me trying to swallow a 12 inch long sausage without choking. So I guess I'm gonna be on some sort of cooking show. If you could do that, Pumpkin, you're definitely your mother's daughter, alright? Hello again, you sexy looking demon, you. I'm currently waiting at the airport for this chick's plane to hurry up and arrive from Liberty City. According to the video I asked from her, I think I'm gonna have some fun with her before I kick her ass to the curb. <laughs> you know what? I'm so glad my wife finally found those tapes I've done and decided to finally fuck off out of my life forever. Where the fuck is this chick? Her plane was meant to land two hours ago. <sighs> you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna head home and try giving her cell another call. Oh, oh, oh god, I think I'm gonna shit myself. Here. I'm recording this in case something happens to me during this meeting and everything turns to shit. I don't know why I feel like this. I mean, I deal with this guy all the time. He just seems to scare the hell out of me. <sighs> I better read some of this book my wife gave me. It's apparently meant to help my confidence and make me a stronger person inside or some crap. What's the name of it? It's called, Your Wife Has Bigger Balls Than You Do. Grow Some. Thanks, honey. Appreciate it. Ah, Mr. Scythe. I'm so glad you can make it, even due to your very hectic schedule. Come on, man. All I was doing was pounding my stepsister in the ass. Business always comes first. Except for today. I came first. <laughs> That's lovely to know, M Mr. Scythe. How many times do I have to tell you? Stop calling me Mr. Scythe. That's my daddy's name. Just call me Bobby Ray. Um, okay then, Bobby Ray. So let's get down to business then. Have you brought what I'm looking for? Um, no, I ha- no, no, I haven't. You see, you still owe me from the last two deliveries I've given you, and I'm sick of not getting any fucking money from you. Look, look, can't we just come to some sort of proposal? You know what? I'm a nice guy. I use lube when fucking someone in the ass, so here's what's happening. You got to the end of the week to get me all the money you owe me. In the meantime, I may decide to just come around and pay your beautiful, young, tight daughter a little visit. No, no, please, no. Look, look, look. I'll have the money by then. Just leave her alone. Please. Good, good. I'll see you a bit later then. Say hi to your daughter for me!
Christ, I gotta get home. Oh, shit. What the hell happened? My... My plane somehow crashed on the way to Los Santos. I have no idea where I am. God, I hope Mr. Pennyhouse is looking for me. Fuck! I have no signal on my cell. I can't call him. At least my iPhone works. And I can listen to all my songs. <laughs> money to pay his debt to Bobby Ray? Well, Clark be bothered to try and find Bianca, and who is that mysterious person hiding behind that wall? Will Bianca ever be able to change songs on her iFruit? And what is this mysterious rash I've got on my crutch? All these answers and more on the next episode of The Hills of Los Santos!